for me and a little skinny boy out in the wing. Yeah. I finished up like Betty inside and yeah, 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 inside yeah. the front row. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just gone back uh, 89, 90 when we won the O'Neill Cup. Yeah. And uh, I don't think we've won it since, have we? No. 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 We've got to the final a good few times now since. But um, yeah. even on that team, I wasn't supposed to play. I don't know. Someone got injured or someone was sick or something. But it was on anyway. But, yeah. Um, yeah. The O'Neill Cup that time, it was all divisions. It was yeah. only yeah. second and third division teams now. But that time, first divisions. Yeah. Oh, it was a great competition to win, actually. Yeah. 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 It, was a, it was an open draw, like all the yeah. different leagues. Right. Different yeah. Teams, uh, yeah. Yeah. We, so we, beat, we beat Middleton, Middleton in the final, the final that time. They were actually going to see another final in the year. Yeah. 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 So it was a great victory. Yeah. Yeah. But um, but um, what you got, um, going, going back to that day, like I mean, we had. I suppose Charleville is famous for. There's lots of sets of brothers oh, that yeah, has right, played yeah. with Charleville. Yeah. yeah. So the Medigans, the Foxes, the Leahys, the two of O'Connells is playing down now at the, the moment. The Sheehans from Midford, the Harrells, yeah. the, yeah. the O'Sheas, yeah. the, yeah. the, the Foley, the Atkins. Jeez, you yeah. can keep yeah. naming them. Yeah. 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 Lots of brothers all, all played on certain teams from time to time. Right. But um, we had a couple of dinner that the Blutes from Effingham, yeah. oh, Dr. Mr. Jim Blute. Yeah. And uh, we had um, on that O'Neill Cup winning team, we had a couple of lads from outside of Charleville. Yeah. Simon Flynn there from Cork City. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Eugene Deegan from Limerick. Right. Eugene, mm. to That's right. And uh, yeah. Donnie Barry. Yeah. Yeah, Donnie. And uh, do you know what? Look, it was great. I, was, I, I could honestly say here no, and I'd be quite uh, slow open about it. I'd say I was never fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Times have changed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I like Dean. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. anyway, there was no no improvement on that yeah. side of things. But they, like you're talking about fitness, Joe. Yeah. But, uh, uh, hurling, soccer, rugby. It, it's all gone to a different level than what yeah. we yeah. played. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? And do you know what brought that about? Level. It brought about when the rugby went professional. Yeah. I can remember uh, Munster doing a coaching course here. I'd say every GA club in the country were here yes. along watching. Yeah. They were all coming to watch. Munster used to train here one time. Yeah. When sure, Declan sure. Kidney was yeah, all right. here. And yeah, all, yeah, the, yeah. all the Holland clubs and soccer clubs used to come in to watch what they were doing. Yeah. And they brought all the sports up with them. A rising, right. a rising board, you know, a rising yeah. tide lifts all boards. Of course it does, yeah. And I'd say that's what changed them all, do you know what I mean? Right, right. They all, they all kind of went professional, they were right. watching what yeah, was going yeah, on. Yeah. You know? Even in underage now, just the, the, the training structure, even for your underage, yeah. is incredible. It's it is, yeah. the way we play it. Yeah, but yeah. Ju- we'd say, just going back to the old game, we'll say your game, your game, right. Betty, your game. Like, uh, the way it was, that's the way it is now. Which, would you would you prefer the old game well, or the new game? We were talking about it not so long ago. We, had, we played in a great time because we had a great social life. Yeah. Unfortunately, we often drank and cock and came home, but we were never, everyone got home, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. And we got to the park and... That was just a different... Do you know, it was a yeah. different time. Yes, different right. structure, though. Right. But well, we would say, if, from, from playing, John, and you played at... Oh, game, yeah, but... Uh, we'd say, would you prefer the old, kind of up the jersey, drive it on game, or the way it is now, so technical, like? Well, I suppose it does not add to that, like, yeah, it, yeah. it's just uh, different times, different things, different scenarios, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, we played it, that's the way it was, we that's played it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But there was a great social life when we were playing, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it was, of course. It's yeah. very hard with legs now, with work and driving, and, do you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, not yeah. that we didn't walk, but we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Betty, from a... Like from uh, from you watching the game of rugby now, we'll say and all 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 the all the boys, especially at the you know from the, the professional level, they're every one of them, they're athletes, they're super oh, they are. Oh, they are, fit, yeah. and yeah. Do you know what I mean. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. 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 As a, as a boss, the, you know, even you know the Irish rugby teams from the seventies, the eighties. Oh, they were they were only amateurs. Amateurs, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They only come together for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're together constantly. Like, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but they were the, playing against other amateurs. That's, yeah, right, that's yeah. it, yeah. You know, it yeah. Too yeah. Bad. yeah. But it's gone professional now. It is, yeah. Mm. What's your own opinion, Adam Alice? The, the old game or the new game? And just, you know, I suppose everything is so tight now and so technical and structured, isn't but sure, it? But sure, even we'll say no, a lot of it's to do with your diet and everything. Yeah. But, you know, you've got to watch what you eat. Yeah. And the younger lads, in fairness to them, mm. are, are buying into it. Yeah. And they're yeah, looking yeah. after yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. There's no sugar uh, in that, no matter. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's, I know the social life in is good, Yeah. but they're fit or no, yeah. Yeah. I think the game is better for us. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, it's, it's great to see it's like a, a small right, country yeah. like this and look at, look at the standard of rugby. Right, yeah, it's yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah, and, and, you, and the underage lads coming through as well, you know. Yeah. 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 Do you know, so like you come back here, and seen the young lads playing back here, they're all aspiring to Munster to the set-up, like, you know. Yeah, so yeah. So it's, it's good, like, you know. Right, yeah. Yeah. 
I suppose as the president of the club, um, Morris mentioned the younger lads. What, what, what age group are they starting here now? They're starting from eight. Eight, yeah. Eight, eight, under eight up. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we have, and Don O'Brien is, is looking after the under age, but we have a very, very good under 14 team, very, very good under 16 team. Yeah. And a very good under 18 team. Right. And they're like, we're trying to keep all them together and bring them through. Yeah. And I play in the same kind of a way. So yes. the coaches are different, changed or anything. There's no one going to chop and change right, yeah. the way they play. And the minis have gone very strong. Right, well, yeah. You know, we've coaches gone into all the schools now in the, in the area. Right, yeah. With the Munster coach. And, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're subsidising that. Right, right, right. So, right. like, but we're putting a good bit of money into it. Like, but in fairness to all the coaches under the age, they're doing a great job. Right, Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, Brilliant yeah. And, and putting in a lot of time. As you said, the structure's the same all the, through the age group. Yeah, so they can blend from one yeah, yeah. group to the next. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah. Paddy Cocklin, who's working over in Shares, he's the director of Robino, and that's what he's trying to aspire to. Right. To have everyone singing off the same hymn sheet. Right, you know what right, I mean? right, right. So that they'll, they'll, when they move up from under 14 to 16, they'll be not in change. Right, you know right, I mean? right. So that's what we're hoping right. to go to. Um, just looking around the, the club grounds you have here, you know, you've had this dressing room yeah. over here. We have seven and a half acres here now. Seven and a half acres. Yeah, and we're developing the tub pitch up there at the top right. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so that's going to be another, we'd say. Training, playing pitch for the training, medias. Training for the small, yeah. yeah. And we have a pitch here, and which we rent out a lot to the GA and soccer and the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Camogie teams yeah. train here in the winter. Right, yeah, I mean. yeah, under the lights. Yeah, yeah, under yeah, the lights, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So, like, we're, excellent. We're, we're, we're happy the way things are right, going yeah. now. So, so uh, from very, very humble beginnings, the club has grown. And yeah, well, I mean, we had a dressing rooms well down the back of Yemen and Rains. Yeah, that's right. We, talk, we used to talk out, yeah. we used to talk out oh, in Cronin's. Oh, that's right, that's right. Then uh, <laughs> Cronin's in the middle of the town. Yeah. Then we'd, we we built. Do you remember we built? We told them to put a few walls up inside in the shed down the back of Emma Marines yeah. under the galvanised roof. Yeah. We used to train there, yeah. and uh, they brought on a coach from Cock one time to coach the boys. I was a friend of Mick Daly, had Daly more than telling me, and he came out and coached the boys, ran them around the field, doing a session. All the boys back into Rhines after. Yeah. Oh, they all drank about six or seven pints or eight pints, and your man was watching them. <laughs> And he said, lads, just much point in I coming out coaching you if you're going to be drinking <laughs> seven or eight points. Yeah, yeah, but if yeah. you weren't here, we'd drink about 16. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, we'll have to go on from that now. Right. We have John Keenan now that's coaching the first team at the moment now. He coached the Munster Juniors. Right, yeah. And he coached Castle Tri to win the right. senior schools. Right, so he's so, and the lads, are, Yeah, great backs coach. Because right. we always had forwards coaches. Yeah. So with this year we said we'd get a back scotch back, back and the boys are delighted with it, right, do you know what right. I mean? Dan, it, just mention, like he mentioned Derry and Larty Mercedes. Well, uh, uh, like we'd say, no club, I suppose, survives to this day without the, the people that went before him yeah. and, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. the work that went in, you know what I mean? Yeah. The likes of Derry and there's a lot more as well that gave their lives to Charleville Rugby, like, didn't oh, they? Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. There'd yeah. be no club here, I'd say, only for Derry. Derry kept it going. Yeah. Do you know, in the in the, the 70s, in you know, well, no, no, the John, John. Yeah, we were all involved there, the Jewel uh, Yeah. For yeah. years there, like. Right, 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 right. I was involved there myself for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. John Mead, another fella. Right, yeah. right, John. No, yeah, yeah. Fellas, you, you, you can mention a rack of fellas that give right, time yeah. to the Jewel underage, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And then I remember so, Betty, yeah. Shani Lynch, she was a great friend for rugby too, wasn't she? Oh, Shani? yeah, well, well, there was the old, the old club had died out. Yeah. In the, when, 60s, was the 60s. it? 60s. And then. The new club the came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 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 But the match is over, you want to be very fast, get the showers. The showers, the first into the showers got the hot water. <laughs> and there was only a limited amount. Goodbye, Ali. No, just the game's getting very excited, lads. Um, well, I suppose we'll wrap it up and just say, go on. Before you finish. <laughs> no, we were talking about the social side of things there, yeah. well, for the young lads now. I must say they're very, very disciplined. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. go to Saturday nights or anything like that. Yeah, but yeah. what I would love to see in the future is if matches could be played on a Friday night and let the young lads be free for the weekend. Enjoy their weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're working on party yeah. that we'd have proper match day lights. Right. So they can play Friday, Saturday night right, yeah, and yeah, have the weekend yeah, off. Because yeah. young fellas, the young fellas. They know, yeah. And even the seniors, they like to have the weekend off and we're hoping. 
but hoping we'll to achieve that. There's a try now, watch that. Get that in video. Get that in video. <laughs> Under the post. Under the post. Under the post. Excellent. But uh, that's what we're swearing yeah. to know. I suppose when you have young fellas that are going away to college oh, yeah, and yeah. they're coming home on a Friday evening, they could get the match played yeah. and you free up the weekend. And you free up the weekend for them. That's right. That's right. And, you know, and that's what we're swearing to know. That's right. Brilliant. And, brilliant. And, and well, look, yeah. as I say, thanks for that, anyway. no problem. And thanks for coming out. And as I say, best of luck in the future. And things seem to be very bright. And, uh, you know, and, and best of luck. Going forward. Go on, I just want to thank all the businesses and the people that support the Split the Bucket. And uh, it is a great help. And it's helping us to achieve what we're trying to achieve here. So we're very grateful. Right. 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 Joe, Betty, John, yeah. McCart, thanks Pardon. very much indeed. Thank well, you. Thanks, Cove. <laughs> <laughs>